Welcome to quarantine edition of Wade Makes. Hello. As you can see, it's a little bit different. I don't have my cinematographer in chief, and I just basically have me a camera that I strapped to myself. I have a chicken here. You might think we're going to make something chicken, uh, but you're right. So we're going to go ahead and make something similar to the rotisserie chicken that you get at the store. Because I know a lot of people are like, where's my rotisserie chicken? I got to stay at home and self-isolate and social distance from the chicken. Because I know a lot of people like to just sit in the parking lot and eat it with their hands. You can't really do that right now so much. So we've got a chicken here. I'm going to put on this. Um, hopefully you have a glove. I don't know what else you would be using it for. I hope you're seeing more chicken than my stomach. Okay. What we're going to be doing with this chicken is uh... bowling the chicken. Now, bowling the chicken is something you might not have heard of, uh, but I'm going to show you how it's done. Just take the chicken here, uh, pick it up, one hand. I like to get inside there because uh, one hand, I have one hand, one clean hand, one dirty hand. Okay, so I've got the chicken here. All right, now that that chicken is bowled, we're going to be putting a whole bunch of salt on this chicken. Now, the reason we're salting the chicken is because we're doing what's called a dry brine. A brine, as you might know, brings tenderness and moisture to meat. Typically, you'll soak it in water and salt and other things. Now, a dry brine, we're just gonna rub it down on the outside with salt here. All over, every crevice. You know that spot that makes your dog kick his leg? That spot, and then the breasts, and then I'm even gonna put some inside here. It's kinda self-based. We're just gonna leave it out for about an hour covered in salt. You can also let that chicken sit in the fridge for up to a day covered in salt. We're gonna make essentially what is a standard blackening seasoning. You ever had blackened fish or blackened chicken? That's what we're gonna do. I'll go onto my rack here, pick out some things that I want. Now we gotta wait for this to sit for an hour, so I'll see you then. One hour later. So it's been an hour. It's been sitting here for an hour. I got myself a cast iron pan. Here, I'm gonna place this cast iron pan in the oven and then preheat to 425 degrees. I need a cup of water. Not a cup, but like a glass of water. Not a glass, but you know, a cup. I'm going to use this cup of water to kind of gently rinse off a lot of the salt. Just rinsing the majority of it off because you don't want to eat a salt crusted monstrosity of a chicken. Now what we need to do is dry it off a little bit. Now we just need to, a little bit of that spice in, in the crevices. Now I need a little bit of oil. I hope you can see all right. I sure cannot see what I'm filming. I'm just gonna add it onto my hand first and kind of drizzle it, pat. I'm not gonna rub it around because I want to leave my dry rub in place, kinda. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. We're at 425. Our cast iron is preheated. It's a little bit warmy. Add a little bit of oil. Just enough to coat. Nothing crazy. And I'm gonna place the chicken in the cast iron skillet. Amazing. In the oven. 40 to 50 minutes. I would check it at maybe 40. Um, depends on the size of your chicken. I have about a five pound chicken, although it might be four and a half because they pack it with water. Um, I had one overcook at 45. I had one just be just enough done at an hour. So just check it at 40 minutes. You're going to want an internal temperature of 165. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. What's the camera?
camera action. Yeah, a little, a little bit of nice blackening there on that blackened chicken. So we're going to take its temperature. Best place to take the chicken's temperature is between the thigh and the breast here. It's an easy way to pick up a chicken. Now we're going to let this cool a little bit and then I'm going to carve it. Don't be scared of that. That's just juices running. There's going to be a little bit of blood in there and that's okay. If there's not that, then you overcook that. We did check the temperature, so we're fine. So we did that. Um, that separates the leg and the thigh. But let's do the breast now. As you can see, it's got the juiciness of a store-bought rotisserie chicken. That's all I got for this one. Maybe I'll do more depending on how long we're here and how long how much bored I am. Anyway, that's all. Yep, see ya. Clean your hands for 25 seconds. Urgh.